everybody just thought I'd turn the camera on and share with you what I am playing around with tonight hubby's at work and I just thought you know I think I need a pineapple on my one of my doors so what I'm basically doing is cutting out a pineapple shape out of cardboard and I am going to cover it with some batting I'm going to pat it just a little bit with some hot glue all around the back just to knock the edge off and so it doesn't look like I'm covering cardboard I went to Walmart and I did spend five dollars wanted yeah, yellow chevron pineapple and I just bought a 97 cent fat quarter Waverly brand I should have known better I picked up a spool of green wire ribbon and I got home I had some darker green which would have worked fine I was looking for some brown rickrack for the uh, little diamond shapes of the pineapple but that'll make sense here in a few minutes so I just had to result in getting some just thin brown ribbon and then I'm going to embellish my pineapple with just some kind of little burlap summery ribbon. I'll show you how that goes in just a little bit. Now what I need to do is go ahead and cut out my pineapple body. This is what I'm going to attach the top of my pineapple with. So I left just a little tab up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three layers of batting, hot glue it on my cardboard all the way around to soften the edges. Okay, here is my cardboard covered in my batting. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with my yellow fabric. Is put it on there, trim it out around the edges, leave myself a good two inches to kind of work with, and hot glue it all the way around my pineapple shape. Okay, I have my fat quarter unfolded, and I'll give you the measurements of my cardboard here at the end. But I just, and I'm learning as I go here, but I just wanted you to know that you do need to, if you buy the fat quarters, you do need to iron your fabric before you cut it and glue it around your pineapple shape. Okay, I have my pineapple covered in fabric. Now, this is the back. Now, of course, if you were giving this to somebody or you want your back to look nice and neat, you could take a piece of felt or even just another piece of fabric and cover all this messy look up and it would look really nice on the back. Now here's what my pineapple looks like. This is the look I was going for. I wanted it kind of, uh, you know, kind of puffy just a little bit. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my brown thin ribbon and I took a straight pin and pinned it on each end and I'm going to do three lines going that way and three lines going that way. And that will create my pineapple diamond shapes. And that way when I flip it over to glue the tails, uh, the, the, the ribbon won't shift. And it will be exactly where I want it to be. All right. I have the lines on my pineapple body. Now, if you make your pineapple much bigger than mine, you'll definitely need two spools of the brown ribbon. I'm going to have a big bow in the middle of my pineapple. So it's going to cover up where I'm missing some ribbon. So I think it will be fine as long as this bottom... You know, that's the look I wanted at the bottom. So now what I need to do is work on my spikes, the tops of my pineapple. Please. And I'm just going to... I took a spool of ribbon that is 12 feet. I've got four yards of ribbon. You'll need at least that much. And I am cutting 12 inch pieces and I'm just cutting them pointed at the end. Now it has to be wire ribbon or this will not work. Keep that in mind. But I'm just going to do that with all of my pieces. And then I'll hot glue them on the top of my pineapple body. Top of my pineapple. And you remember that little tab that I told you I left at the top? Is I'm going to stick my pineapple leaves in there in that little pocket. Because this whole little area is going to be covered up with a big bow. So that will camouflage where the stem meets the body. All right, I want to show you what it looked like with all the stems in there. And I'll once I get it hung up, I'll shape it like it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to hang it up and show you what it looks like. All right, friends, I think I succeeded. It definitely looks like a pineapple on my door. Love the way it turned out. I'm going to move in just a little closer and let you see the top of my pineapple using the wire ribbon. Just a burlap bow. I was a little short on my brown ribbon, so I just kind of bloused up the tails of my bow to kind of camouflage it. No one would ever know unless I pointed it out. Had a little piece of wood, put some stick, painted it, put some stickers on there. That's all that is. You saw what I started with, a piece of scrap cardboard and I covered it and embellished it. So I hope this inspires you in some way. I'm in love with my new pineapple, and I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.